Hi, Kareem Mazni here. Today, I'm going to look at the N Queens problem, which uses a backtracking algorithm to determine the optimal placement of N Queens on a size N by N chessboard in a way that none of the Queens are able to attack each other. So, let's dive in. Thanks for joining. Today we're going to look at the N Queens backtracking algorithm problem. So let's just define the problem first. So given an n by n size chessboard, we want to find all the ways to place n queens such that they cannot attack each other. So let's look at an, ex at an example. So let's say we have a 4 by 4 board and we want to place 4 queens. If we place 4 queens along a diagonal, they can all attack each other, so none of these queens are safe. So it's not a solution to our problem. Now here's another placement of 4 queens. And these queens are not safe, because the top queen can at attack the queen just beneath it, and the other queens can attack on the diagonal. So this is not an optimal solution. So now let's look at this placement here. And if we check the very top queen, we can see that its row and column are clear of any other queens. And we can also see that its diagonals are clear of any, of any other queens. So that's a good placement to put the queen. If we look at another queen, the one on the left, then we can see that its row and column are completely clear of any other queens. And its diagonals are clear of any other queens as well. So this here is actually an optimal solution. And other optimal solutions do exist, and they include the rotations and the mirrored flips of this board. So now let's look at an 8x8 board and define how attacks can happen. So let's say we have a queen at place 2-2, two, two, and we have another queen at place 2-6. These queens can attack each other because they share the same row. So if row on queen 1 is equal to row on queen 2, then they are not safe. Here's another example. If we have a queen at 4-3 and another queen at 7-3, they share the same column, so they can attack each other. So if column for queen 1 and column for queen 2 are the same, then they are not safe. And here is another example. Let's say we have a queen at position 3, 4, and another queen at position 7, 8. They share the same diagonal, so they can attack each other. So they are not safe. And to calculate this, we take the absolute value of the row for queen 1 minus the row for queen 2. And we check to see if it's equal to the absolute value for the column of queen 1 minus the column of queen 2. So in this case, we have 3 minus 7, and the absolute value of that, equal to 4 minus 8, and the absolute, absolute value of that. So 4 is equal to 4, therefore it's true, they share a diagonal. So we need a function that returns true or false if a queen we want to place is safe. So I've come up with this function here, and it's a Boolean function that takes in the row and column of the queen that you want to place, and returns either true if it's safe, or false if it's not. Now we're going to go over this function step by step in the next few slides. So here's that 8x8 board again. And if I want to place a queen at row 3, column 4, let's go through the function and see if that's safe. So the first part of this function will loop from i equals 1 to n. So in this case, 1 to 8. And on each iteration of this loop, it'll check to see if the board at row i has a queen, or if the board at i column has a queen. If, the, if it does, it will return false. So in the first iteration, where i is equal to 1, it'll check row, which is equal to 3, column equal to 1, to see if it has a queen. And it'll also check i, which is equal to 1, column, which is equal to 4, to see if it has a queen. So I'm going to mark it on the board with x's to show what we've checked so far. And since it's clear, it moves on to the next. And so the next time, it'll check row 3, column 2, and row 2, column 4. And it'll keep going until it reaches the end of the board. And it's all clear, so it now moves on to the next part of the algorithm. So I have a value here called reset. And reset is used for checking diagonals and placing the starting positions. So reset is equal to 
the minimum value of the row and column. So in this case, it's the minimum value between 3 and 4. And then it subtracts 1 from that. So the minimum value between 3 and 4 is 3 minus 1. So our reset has a value of 2. Now it starts another loop, checking the diagonal from the top left to the bottom right. So i starts off as equal to row minus reset. Row is equal to 3, and we've calculated that reset is equal to 2, so i starts off at 1. j is equal to column minus reset. So column is equal to 4, reset is equal to 2, so 4 minus 2 is 2. So now looking at the board, we'll check to see if row 1, column 2 has a queen in it, and it does not, so it's clear. Now the loop will increment each value i and j by 1, and check along the diagonal. So the next iteration, it'll check if row 2, column 3 has a queen, and it does not. It'll check 3, 4, it's all clear. 4, 5, all clear. And it'll continue. However, when it hits 7, 8, there is a queen. So the algorithm will return false, telling us that it's not safe to place a queen at row 3, 4. Alternatively, there's another for loop in this algorithm that checks the diagonal from the top right to the bottom left. And how that works is it just flips some of the values. So i starts at row minus reset just like the last loop did, and j starts at column plus reset. And it increments the row, but it decrements the column. So it travels down the opposite diagonal. Ultimately, this tells us that position 3, 4 is unsafe to put a queen. So what do we know so far? If we place a queen in a row, we know we cannot place another queen in the same row. After placing a queen in a row, we move on to the next row. And to do this, we use a backtracking algorithm. So this here is the backtracking algorithm, and it's a recursive algorithm that will determine where the optimal placement for the queens in the end queens problem is. So let's go over an example and walk through it step by step. So in the top corner here, I've placed the algorithm so that we can keep an eye on it as we go through. So the first time we call this algorithm, we call n queens backtrack 1, 4. So that means we're starting at row 1, and the size of the board is 4. So on the inside, we have a for loop from 1 to n. So the first iteration of that for loop, i is equal to 1. So we know that row is 1, i is 1. So we check to see if queen safe is true at row equal to 1 and i, which is the column, equal to 1. So we're looking at the board and we see that it's clear. So it's safe to place the queen, so we go ahead and do so. Now we check to see if the value that we have for row is equal to n, and it is not, because 1 is less than n, which is 4. So we now call the n queens backtrack algorithm one more time. This time we increment the row value by one. So now we call n queens backtrack two four. So our row value is equal to two and the first iteration of the for loop on the inside of the algorithm is one. So now we check row two column one and we see if it's safe and it's not safe to place a queen. So we now iterate the for loop one more time so we check row 2, i2, which is row 2, column 2. And we see that it's not safe to place a queen. So now we check row 2, i3. And it is safe, so we go ahead and place that queen. Now that we've placed the queen, we call the recursive algorithm again, this time incrementing the row number by 1. So we're calling n queens backtrack 3, 4. So the first value we check is row is equal to 3, and the first iteration of the for loop, i is equal to 1. So we want to see if it's safe to place a queen, and it's not, so we mark that with an x. So now we check row 3, column 2, and it too is not safe to place a queen, so we mark it with an x. We check row 3, column 3, and it's not safe, so we mark that with an x. And now we check row 3, column 4. It's not safe either, so we mark that with an x. So now we've reached the end of this branch. So the algorithm will backtrack through the recursion to the previous level. So it's going to backtrack up here. So this time, 
Instead of placing the queen at row 2, column 3, we're going to increment the i and place it at row 2, column 4. So now we call the backtrack algorithm for 3, 4. So the first thing we do is we check row 3, column 1 to see if it's safe to place a queen, and it is not. So we check row 3, column 2, and it is safe, so we place the queen. Now we call end queens backtrack for 4. So we check row 4, column 1, to see if it's safe, and it is not safe. So we check row 4, column 2, and it too is not safe. We now check row 4, column 3, and it's not safe. And lastly, we check row 4, column 4, and it's not safe to place a queen. So we've reached the end of this branch, so now we want to backtrack to the previous level. So we're going to backtrack to here, and we're going to increment i by 1. So now, instead of placing a queen at row 3, i2, we're going to place a queen at row, th we're going to try to place a queen at row 3, i3. But it's not safe, so we mark it with an x. So now we increment i, and we check to see if row 3, i4 is safe, and it too is not safe, so we mark it with an x. So now we've reached the end of this branch, so we need to backtrack up a level. But the last time, we had gone through all of the columns, so we've exhausted every possibility for row 2. So we actually have to backtrack one level further to the very top level. And now we're going to increment i by 1 and try this algorithm again. So now we want to check to see if we can place a queen at row 1, column 2, and we can so we go ahead and place that queen. So now we call the end queen's backtrack algorithm again, this time for row two. So we check row two, column one to see if it's safe. And it's not safe, so we mark it with an X. Now we check row two, column two, and it too is not safe, so we mark it with an X. We check row two, column three, and it's not safe, so again, we mark it with an X. Now we check row two, column four, and it is safe, so we can place a queen. Because we've placed the queen, we can call the end queen's backtrack algorithm again, this time for row three. So we check row three, column one, and it's safe. So we go ahead and place the queen. And since we've placed the queen, we can now recursively call the end queen's backtrack algorithm again, this time incrementing the row number by one. So now we're calling it on row four. So we check row four, column one, and it's not safe. We check row four, column two, and it too is not safe because that very top queen can attack it. So now we check row four, column three, and it is safe, so we go ahead and place the queen. So now we've reached the end, and the row is equal to n, and the fourth queen is placed. So we've solved it for an optimal solution. Now if we let the algorithm continue to run, it would find the equivalent solutions, such as the mirrored solution to the one that we've solved right now. So let's take a look at this queen safe algorithm that we used to check to see if it was safe to place a queen on the board. Now that we've stepped through the backtracking algorithm, we can actually make this a lot more efficient. So before you continue on with this video, I encourage you to pause it and try to see how we can make it more efficient. And before you do, I'll give you a hint. Since we place queens from top to bottom, left to right, do we need to check for queens that are beneath and to the right of where we are trying to place? So go ahead and pause that video and try to come up with a more efficient solution to this check. And then when you continue, you'll see the solution. So here we are, I've altered the check to make it more efficient uh, so it's not checking every single possible square of the board along rows and columns. So it's only checking uh, its rows above and to the left and in the diagonal from the above and to the left rather than anything beneath and to the right from where we're trying to place. So employing this queen safe check is more efficient than the general one showed earlier. Now the general one showed earlier is good for programs like chess if you're ever trying to create them. But uh, for this particular problem we can get away with a more efficient queen safe check. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.
Thank you for watching. Go to csbreakdown.com for more, subscribe to our videos, and like this. Bye.